Hey guys, I'm Torex, and I'm here to show you how to set up custom commands on stream avatars and integrate them with Twitch channel points so redeeming a reward automatically triggers the command. Before we get started though, I'd like to mention that this is a community-made tutorial and you can find all my social links down in the description below. Now let's jump straight into the tutorial. Here we are in the stream avatars program. Now this first step, if you only have to do if you have been using stream avatars for a little while since before may 2020 if you just bought the program and are just now setting it up you can skip this part i will leave a time code on the screen for you to skip ahead to the next part all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the login details on the sidebar right here and then you are going to re-get your channel oauth token all you have to do is click get channel token and it will take you to a page like this where you may be signed out of your Twitch account, but if you aren't and you are signed into your correct Twitch account, go ahead and just click authorize and it will take you to this page saying you have succeeded in doing your task. So now you can just close out of your internet browser. Next, you're going to head over to the bot commands section and then click the edit custom commands button. And then next what you're going to want to do is come over to the create command button right here, click it, and then you are going to name this command the same exact thing you're going to name the reward you want to trigger it. So for this example, we are going to do mass dance. And that will create the command right here. And then you're going to come over to this little cog wheel, click on it, and then click edit. So now you see we have this page with quite a few options. First we have aliases. Aliases are a place where you can put different trigger words uh, for the command. So in this case, if we were to put in dance party and hit enter, you see it would show up in this list. So now if someone were to put dance party in chat, uh, that would also trigger it. Or if you named the reward dance party, it would trigger it. The restriction option is where you choose who can use the command in chat. If you leave it on caster, only you will be able to use it in chat, but everyone will still be able to redeem the reward and have it trigger just fine. And here we have currency cost, which you would only edit in the situation of this not being synced with a Twitch channel points reward, but because it is, I would suggest leaving it at zero. The run command section is where the fun happens, and this is where you're going to put the actual command you want to run when the reward is triggered. So for this example, we are going to put mass dance and then hit enter. And last but not least, we have the send message area, and this is what you use if you want stream avatars to send a message into chat when the command is triggered. So for this example, we're just going to type in dance party exclamation point and when the command is triggered it will now send dance party into chat another example of the commands you can run with this is if you want to target a single person with the reward you can let's remove mass dance here and let's add currency add and use this parameter zero user wait i forgot this there we go and then the two brackets surrounding it, and then whatever number you want. So now this command would now be a way to take away Twitch channel points, but add stream avatars points. So that is a way you could maybe redeem avatars with Twitch channel points. Also, you can hover over these uh, to see uh, little information blurbs about what they do. And now that is all we need to do on the stream avatar side of things. Now let's head over to Twitch and set all that up. So now that we're on Twitch, what you're going to want to do is come over to your little profile icon in the top right corner here and then click on creator dashboard. And now that we're on the creator dashboard, you're going to come over to these three little lines in the top left corner and then click on community and then channel points. And then you're going to want to click on manage rewards and then here you'll see all your custom rewards and even the default rewards down here but all we're going to worry about is clicking add a new custom reward now as i said before you're going to want to name this reward the same exact thing as the command so in this case we can do mass dance 
Or because we put the alias in, we can also do dance party, which is what I think I'm going to stick with. Everything else, like the description, the amount, and the reward icons, you can customize to your liking. But the one thing I do suggest, if you're doing a mass dance type of reward or a boss battle or something that you don't need to really accept, you just want it to happen automatically, I suggest clicking skip reward request queue. That'll make it so any future redemptions of this will just skip the rewards queue and trigger automatically. And there you go, you have now uh, set up the command to be triggered automatically when someone redeems the reward. Once again, I am Torex, and you can find all my social links down in the description below. And if you have a question about this tutorial, you can send me a message on Twitter, or you can catch my streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes on Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good day, guys. Peace. Oh! Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Holy crap. Lanterns. <laughs>